Greetings guys, uh, this video is just a technical analysis of the forex market. So I'm analyzing uh, the gold uh, USD. So this is just uh, going to show you on how uh, I go about analyzing my chart. So here I'm on the four hour time frame and the main important things that I'm looking for it is uh, the key levels and both the direction of the market. So you see that we have our uh, key resistance up there and then we have another one here which is both a resistance and a support depending on where price was. So you can see here it acted as a resistance and then it came back it acted as a support as a resistance again and now price is taking a break there. And then one other important level it is this level that is down there where the buyers took the price and then another essential thing is that okay we can see that the market is moving up so it, it is buyers market but we cannot deny the fact that it has approached one of our key resistant uh levels so then how should we approach it and how should we look at it so firstly you can see that prior the market was moving aggressively when the buyers started the move they were moving aggressively but now they have changed the way they flow you can see if you can draw our trend line you can see that now our trend line it has shifted meaning the strength of the buyers have shifted it become a little bit weaker and weaker and that might happen because of the of this key level here which is the seller's territory because you can see in the past that they've been taking the price from there taking the price from there so this might mean something else again in the present and one other factor it is because here i can see that we had a high and then if you extend this high it became a low or it became a support and that's where the buyers took the price on their next move so us as traders we're not expecting price to go below this low here if the buyers were indeed strong we're not expecting prices to go below but for the fact that price went below it still doesn't confirm that it's time for us to sell it's just a sign that okay there is something wrong about the buyers and again looking at momentum we can see this wave here the first wave going all the way up just increase my pixels the first wave going all the way up and then looking at the second wave going all the way up but the second wave is almost 50 percent of the previous one it is so small meaning that the strength of the bias is decreasing yeah? the bias are becoming weaker because we see their uh, previous impulsive wave it is so huge but then if you see our current impulsive wave it is so small although it did form a new high here although it did form a new high but the way it formed that high it is not that aggressive and again flipping the sides looking at the sellers we can see their corrective wave and then we can see the other wave so you can see that the new wave of the sellers is huge compared to this one yeah. so same this one is almost 50 percent and you can see even the time it takes that for the for the sellers to complete this wave earlier it took them very very long time but now for them to complete this wave it just takes them a short period of time so you can see that the sellers they themselves they're becoming stronger and strong and the buyers they're becoming a little bit weaker so this can be a sign that uh we can see a downward move from there we can see a downward move from that high going all the way down there so then what should you expect as a trader what should you look for as a trader so here are some possibilities let me not uh, erase everything let me just I remove the few so here are some uh possibilities that you should expect as a trader let me just try to clean the chart a little bit more so we are expecting price to do two things we are either expecting price to start here and go all the way up if it doesn't go down eh? so if it's buzz market or if the buzz resurrect we're expecting the price to move all the way up maybe to somewhere there or even above but that's a little bit uh, uh, difficult to take place. It's so hard to take place because of the momentum that we've identified. And then the, the, the other thing that we should pay attention into, it is price moving all the way up and then moving all of a sudden all the way down, collapsing from that level. So waiting maybe for price to go and test that level and go all the way up. However, price cannot 
come and test this level there so it can happen that price can just start going down all the way here so when should you expect uh, a downward move or when should you take it as a sell if it happens to go down so you should take it as a sell one once you see a clear high that is formed here if a high gets formed here or maybe somewhere there then that's when you will have to enter and you will enter with a simple method of waiting for that uh, for this small corrective it's if it's forming let me just go to a smaller time so that you'll see it clear so you will just wait for this corrective wave which is forming here let me just indicate it with uh, some color and that's right so you'll wait for this uh corrective wave which is forming here to be broken yeah. So, so that's when you're gonna say okay let us take it down as a sell yeah. so you should wait for this to be broken and then you take it as a sell and when you take it as a sell make sure that you put your stop loss very very close more special to uh above the recent high so that is gonna save you uh a lot of money when that trade doesn't work so that's it guys for gold thank you for watching this video